party's earnings. Party reports numbers today post market hours, and the street is working with a consolidated top line growth of 1.4% on a quarter on quarter basis. Remember, Bharti is a sum of parts. Uh, the key, um, you know, the the you know the key to track in Bharti's numbers are the India mobile numbers, right? The mobility numbers. But they also have Africa. They also have the homes business, which is D2H. They also have an enterprise business where they provide data center services, etc., to large uh, companies. So it's a sum of these parts. But we typically look at the India mobile business and the Africa business. Africa has already reported the numbers, and it's a beat on the top line and on the margin. So the question is. Is there a possibility that consolidated numbers could show a positive surprise uh, given the Africa beat this time? Let's talk about India now. For India, we're working with about a 3, 3.5% top line growth. This will be driven by a 0.8% increase in the subscriber growth and a pretty decent addition in the ARPUs. The average revenue per user is seen up 2.5%. Now, when it comes to the subscriber data, we already have two months of subscriber data given by the TREI, April and May. So the street has estimated, you know, perhaps what they could add in June and come out with an estimate, and it's roughly about 0.8% increase on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. The reason why ARPUs are likely to increase on a sequential basis is because in the month of January and February, the company started uh, taking away the cheapest price plans. The entry-level prices were hiked, and that's going to be, you know, reflecting in the ARPU increase. EBITDA margin seen at 52%. Profits are seen down at closer to 2,700 crore rupees. So that's uh, Bharti for you. Okay, so we're going to watch out for those numbers. Uh, stocks in positive territory right now. Let's now.